Today's patio chat is being brought to you locally by Westridge Furniture in Delphus. See it all at your finer outdoor furniture store. So you've taken the time to plant a garden. Now things are getting going and we've got some safety tips for food safety on harvesting from your garden. We've got OSU Extension a, uh, Master Gardener with us, Gretchen Staley, to uh, give us some tips. So thanks for coming today. Hi, Holly. Good to see you. All right, folks. So first of all, you know, why is it a good thing for people to plant gardens and, you know, get some food out of their own yard? Well, I think most of us who do it, do it because we know that we can get the freshest quality and um, get our vegetables at their peak and then have them in our home as long as possible and right. keep them nice and fresh and for food safety because we know what we're growing where it's growing and how it's been handled All right yeah and if you have kids it's just a really cool thing a cool process to go through isn't absolutely. it absolutely <laughs> it is so fun to watch them watch everything happen and become aware mm -hmm. so we love doing that at the children's oh, garden yeah i bet you yeah. do okay so you brought some props and things with you because i'm thinking what food safety tips i grew it i'm just gonna pick it and, and go you know you know one of my favorite things about the being a master gardener volunteer is osu extension gives us opportunities to kind of get some refreshers once in a while and right now some of us are going through kind of a refresher on safety and you know we all get busy, lazy, you know, and, and so it's good to kind of remind ourselves once in a while. Um, I'm guilt, have been guilty of, I've got my dirty soil knife and gloves there on the end um, of, you know, you're busy, you're out in the garden and you're weeding and things and you spy, oh, uh, there's a cucumber ready and it's so easy to just while you're right there grab it and pick it or whatever All right. without really thinking about what's on the gloves has the neighbor's cat been using you know your gardens as a litter box is that on the soil knife um, so actually the best practice um, is to do your harvesting um, all at once, okay. preferably in the morning. You get um, sweeter vegetables and produce in the morning because okay. the vegetables make sugar and starches overnight. Um, but take things from your kitchen that are non-porous. So instead of the berry basket, use something that you can wash like that non-porous okay. basket. All right. Soap and water You instead of your soil knife and your pruners bring your kitchen shears and your paring knife out that can be washed and sanitized in the dishwasher um, as you're harvesting your produce so that you're not um, transferring garden soil onto right. your produce. That makes total sense. Um, be gentle with your produce as you're harvesting it. If it doesn't come off the stem easily, cut it off to get a clean cut. That helps keep bacteria from getting into the stem opening. And then um, when you get things inside, actually you want things at the peak of freshness, which is great, but the moment you harvest something, it's actually starting to degrade in quality. Okay. So really what you wanna do is get them out of full sun as quickly as possible and cooled down um, you don't necessarily, you don't want to plunge them into cold water, but you want to, you can put them in the fridge to get them cooled down. Wait, or, should you put a tomato in the fridge? Not a tomato. I was going to yeah. say, or, <laughs> or for things that don't go in the fridge, even if you have a cool basement okay. or even into the house to 70 degrees uh -huh. is better than, um, hot sun like, like this. Yeah. But, um, a lot of like tomatoes and things, if you can get them down into an area that's cool and dry around 50, mm -hmm. um, um, you know, the, that'll keep them fresh longer. And then um, one thing that a lot of people are surprised by is you never, at most things, you don't really want to wash until right before you're going to use them. Mm -hmm. um, and a new thing that I learned or relearned was that it's important with the water temperature. You don't want to wash vegetables or fruit um, in water that's more than 10 degrees colder than the fruit is okay. or the vegetable is because that can create um, a chemical thing that happens a scientific thing that brings pathogens in so you always want to wash with equal to or warmer water okay. and right before you use them on um, right. almost everything 
That is some good tips to save our fruits and veggies. Thanks for coming today. You're welcome. All right, don't go away. New Tradition continues in a moment.